Error 05, report down with left hand runway 25, number one. Is this the first step towards unmanned planes flying over Britain? At first, it may not seem like it. There are pilots on board. Level accept. But up over the Irish Sea, they hand over control to computers. You have control. We have control. Engineers on board or on the ground ensure the systems work, but it's the plane that's setting the course. This system replaces the pilot's eyes in the cockpit. What Rod's doing at the moment is just setting up a uh, test aircraft, a synthetic intruder, to um, come and attack us, basically. The purpose of these trials is to demonstrate to the authorities that an unmanned aircraft could one day safely fly over the UK. This plane is now flying remotely. It's not the pilots on board who are looking out for other aircraft. It's these computers that are able to sense and avoid other objects in the air, to avoid something like a mid-air collision. This video shows how the plane can detect potential threats. Its sensors are locking on to a fast jet that a pilot will be unable to see. The plane is then able to alter course. It can also avoid bad weather. So far, the use of drones has been focused on the military, and they're not allowed to fly over Britain's busy airspace. These have had to be test flown out in Australia. We're talking about potentially opening up the technology that's been originally designed for a military environment, but for more civil and state operations. So things like uh, fishery protection, search and rescue operations, border patrols and so on. It may prove controversial, even if there'll always be a pilot overseeing the flight from the ground. How soon will it be before the public accept no pilot on the flight deck? And I don't know the answer to that. Think about that. It's one step closer, but we're not there yet. Quite hang on, just uh, find out what's going on here. I don't quite understand that. Just take out the autopilot there for a minute. Jonathan Beale, BBC News.